After a successful harvest in the seventh year of the vineyard, it was time to process this crop forward into wine. Stay tuned to watch some grape squishing action. Greensandmachines.com Before we begin, let's take a look at how many grapes were harvested. From the vineyard, I was able to harvest about 7.5 pounds of white grapes and 1 pound of red grapes. This is a total of 8.5 pounds. This quantity is the most I've harvested in a single year. From this, I should be able to fill a few wine bottles once the wine is ready. My plan to process these grapes is to destem them all by hand and then to crush them with my feet. I'm choosing to do all the destemming by hand because I have very few clusters and I do not plan to ferment the white grapes with the skins on. If I had a large quantity of grapes to process, I would consider investing in or borrowing a crusher destemmer machine. Okay, I really wish I had a crusher destemmer. These are not cheap, however. I've linked one in the description below so you have an idea on how much they cost. Perhaps this can be a scrap attack project for my brother? The other alternative to destemming and crushing would be to crush whole clusters of grapes with my feet. This will be a topic I cover in a later winemaking video. Now watching me destem everything is a bit tedious, so let's move ahead. All right, got the grapes destemmed. Now it's time to crush. I'm gonna get a foot. We're gonna foot stomp these grapes because uh, why not? I've got enough to do it. Then I can strain a bit. Then I can put them in the fermenter right afterwards. This should be fun. To crush the grapes, I'm choosing to mimic a press by combining a garbage bag and my feet. In the old country, you wouldn't bother using a technique like this and instead would go at the whole clusters barefoot. But I only have about 8 pounds of grapes here. If I had a lot more grapes, I would opt for that technique. This though is effective to get the grapes crushed. Every so often, I drain the juice into the fermenter. This way I can get better footing on the remaining grapes. My target is to get as much juice as possible through food stomping and additional pressing and straining. Got about half a gallon in here so far, maybe a little less. I'm still squeezing out more juice from the bag here as much as I can. Foot stomping could only go so far, but it was effective. A lot cleaner than some of the other times I've done this. So continue to do this and then we'll pitch the yeast once I have enough juice. I'm gonna reconstitute the yeast. 
So we're going to use a K1V1116. I've never used this yeast before, but it says it's good for white wine, which the majority of our grapes are today. So we got some water here that's preheated. I guess I have to wait 20 minutes now. Oh, mm, smells like bread yeast almost, but I know it's not, it's just yeast. All right, we'll pitch yeast pretty soon. Oh, let's go over here actually. So we got about half a gallon of uh, grape juice for our wine here, which is more than any of my previous years. Now I know I combined the red and the whites, but you know, I'm not putting any of the skins on it. So it's just gonna be a kind of a white wine anyway. I think this will taste good this year, especially with these yeast. Will I need to oak chip it? I'm not sure yet. Will I need to get some malolactic bacteria? I'm not sure yet. So I'll pitch the yeast and give this about two weeks to a month to see what happens with it. After pitching the yeast, I let the wine ferment for two weeks. In that time, there was a lot of bubbling in the airlock. Eventually, the drag settled out so the wine was clear. This is when I took a taste test. In front of me, I have some of the uh, wine I just poured out of the jug. I'm going to give it a little taste test. Ooh. Kind of acidic. Kind of like went straight to the back of my throat on that sip. It tastes like wine at least though. The wine tastes like wine, that's good. Yeah, the other years it did not taste nearly as it not taste nearly as much like wine, but this is actually pretty okay. Yeah, it just needs some time to like chill and settle to get the color right. But I mean, that's what you get for actually using wine yeast for once. So I'm actually happy about that. Next is to siphon the wine off the dregs and allow it to settle a bit more. In a few days, I'll be moving this to a smaller container into a colder location to allow it to age. So far, this has been the best wine I've made from my own grapes. It should be ready for consumption by the beginning of next year. Next time on Greens and Machines, I get a bit more ambitious with my home winemaking. And by that I mean I went out and bought a large quantity of grapes from someone local. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this video and be subscribed to Greens and Machines so you know when the next video goes live. We'll see you in the next video.